Hello friends, happy Monday. It is Monday morning right now when I'm recording. I always feel like Mondays are kind of like a reset button. It's like a mini new year. Life has been a little chaotic lately. Work's just been a lot and I have really felt like I'm not balancing life really well. Balancing things has never been my strong suit. It's something I've struggled with my entire life. Because I feel so busy and spread thin, I feel like I'm just doing a subpar job at everything, which, it's not a great feeling. I feel like I'm not giving enough to my family, my friends, my work, the dogs, Taryn, the house. And part of me feels so awful even like complaining about being too busy with work because after last year and how difficult it was and how work wasn't really happening, I feel so grateful. I also feel bad complaining about last year because I know it was worse for other people than it was for me. But your adversity and others' adversity isn't, it's not a competition. It's not a spectrum of like, you're not allowed to be upset because somebody else is having this much hardship. We all go through different things and we all have to experience them and you don't have to suppress those emotions just because someone might have it more difficult than you. With that being said, feeling this overwhelming feeling of kind of not doing any one thing well enough used to make me really spiral and just my anxiety would be nuts. But luckily, I have consistently been going to therapy for like a year and a half now and I've spent so much time this last year or so really working on myself so that yes, the anxiety still exists, but I feel like I have so many tools to move through it in order to get over it and not just suppress and ignore and pretend like the problems aren't there, which I used to be a queen of suppression. Growth, we're making progress, people. In my last little sit down chit chatty q and I mentioned that one of the most important tools for me in working on my mental health and actually sitting down and talking to somebody because opening up to a stranger was one of the most terrifying things in the world to me was BetterHelp. And thanks to BetterHelp, they have sponsored this video and they wanna help you you guys as well. So if you feel like there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, like for me, the anxiety and the inability to balance, BetterHelp might be right for you. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line or self-help. This is professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus counselor network, which may not be available locally in many areas. The service is available worldwide. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses and you can schedule weekly phone calls or video chats, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So if for any reason you and your counselor just aren't gelling, BetterHelp makes it really easy to switch counselors free of charge. And I know what holds a lot of people back from getting actual help is the cost. BetterHelp is much more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and there's also financial aid available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So go to betterhelp.com slash Scott. That's better H-E-L-P. And join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. You can get 10% off your first month just go to betterhelp.com slash Scott. So a few things I'm doing so I can stop feeling like I'm doing a subpar job at literally everything is to get more organized and also allocate work a little bit more. Matt Diavella is an incredible YouTuber. He is like a productivity guru and he just recently did a video on just that, how to be productive. And he makes it sound so simple. I will link his video in the description box. He'll explain it so much better. But basically he focuses on needing a notepad, a calendar, and iCloud storage so that you can access all of these things from any device, which I already do all of these things, but I think it's the way he meticulously organizes all of them that really works. He recommended this app called To Do. It's T-E-U-X-D-E-U-X. -E -E it's a really simple to-do list, and I have found that that has helped me immensely. For a long time, I was using my like Apple Notes as to-do lists and as like meeting notes and brand notes and video ideas. They were just all there in one folder. So he like separates his notes. So there's different sections. He gets rid of them and archives them when he no longer needs them. Highly recommend watching his video if you need a little more organization in your life because it's been amazing. The other side is allocating work. I love doing my podcast. It brings me so much joy. I feel like I get so much out of the conversations. I feel like I learned so much. It just feels really important, but it's not lucrative. So unfortunately, a lot of times it has to take a back seat 
to a lot of other things I'm doing. I prioritize doing the recording and having the conversation, but then I just kind of edit it and put it out there and I don't market it enough. I just don't see it as like, this is work I need to promote so you guys see. I just, I just enjoy it. But if I want to be able to continue to do it and I want it to be successful, I need to promote it more. So I need help. I did a post a couple weeks ago saying I was looking for a producer. I'm pretty sure I found one, hopefully, starting in the near future, you will see my podcast quality go up and you will see me properly promoting it. With that being said, I do have a crazy busy day and a crazy busy week, but I'm gonna go take a little bit of time to myself and do a workout and just make sure that I feel good and that I am taking care of myself so that I want to do the things that I have to do today. So let's go work out. Taryn just started a new program on the Tempo called C squared. And I was like, I would like to do it with you. But then she just came upstairs and told me it was literally the hardest class she's ever done on the tempo. So I'm a little scared. <laughs> Wish me luck. I just finished filming a branded story for Tula, one of my new favorite skincare brands. Oh, this sunscreen. You're gonna see me posting about it a lot because I'm obsessed. And I also really am on a mission to get you guys to use your sunscreen. Anyways. <laughs> Oops. I got distracted in my office when I was looking for my little camera hook to put on my window in here. I realized I have a bunch of PR packages that I hadn't opened. So I started opening those and I found a crazy box. Hourglass sent me, like, they send me everything that they have. They had just sent me their new skincare. I just started trying all of that out. I wasn't planning on doing any makeup today. I was just gonna be a skincare girly today. But I just, like, I feel like I have to play. I don't know if this is fun for you guys, but it's very fun for me, so. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, we have three options for concealers. I think it's like the Vanish. Oh, I think they all are. I think these are just minis. That matches great. Wow, dang. I don't know if they have like an expert team that based off of my pictures match me, but this is better than I would have picked. I haven't actually been using foundation a whole lot lately. I've just been doing like concealer. They sent me two of their foundation sticks. We have warm ivory or nude. I think I'm gonna go with Warm Ivory. It's a lot more full coverage than I'm used to, obviously. Typically just using concealer right now. I like that it really buffs out because I don't wanna be super full coverage. So I'm able to like really kind of drag that product. That's really nice. I feel like when you normally see beauty YouTubers doing makeup, they have like all of their crazy lights. I actually am, pretty nicely lit because we have natural lighting behind me, but I feel like you can't ever see the skin texture and it's like, you are you have skin, you have skin texture, it's okay. I have a ton of these blush sticks. I'm actually really scared of green blush. I always feel like I put it on horribly. Sorry, this lighting is in focus. We're, my camera's struggling. That is, oh. That's really pretty and really, really natural. I'm like low key tempted to do one of the like more intense ones just to know, but I don't wanna mess this up. Oh my God. I really hope this is translating. It's not, I know it's not. I think I'm gonna go completely mental. <laughs> really, really dark blush. Ah, that's gorgeous. Ooh. They sent me two different mascaras. One is the Caution Mascara, which I have, I know, I love. This is great. But I've never tried the Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara. So, we're gonna give that a go. I actually really like that I didn't do any contour or bronzer. Like instead of using like a dark tone to chisel out my cheekbone, just using that blush that just made that area really bright and the glitter on the eyes i feel cute <laughs> we did a bad thing we I'm are a bad guy <laughs> taryn is having her first montes it's basically a vegan better version of like in and out i got the maxed out 50 50 fries and tots with cheese sauce and grilled onion and then a single burger thoughts that's really good babe 
Like unreal good, right? Really, really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. I can't believe that's even. Hi, Frankie. He's not behind me. Oh! He's a whoop! Yeah, I want that. <laughs> you smell it? Oh my god, he is freaking oh. out. He smells it. He like gas smells so good, mama. Oh, I just rubbed my eyes. I was going to show you how my makeup held up today. Taryn did just say that she liked my eyelids, which is my sparkly eyeshadow. Oh, that's what I meant, eyeshadow. I said I like your eyelids. Yeah. <laughs> Taryn doesn't know the terminology for makeup. I have recently kind of discovered. Didn't you ask me what concealer is the other day? I just still don't understand that. You could tell me all day. It's so funny. I watch like actual beauty bloggers share a whole day of their wear test and their face looks flawless. I think they like really glam it up. So for some super natural makeup, I'm not mad about it. Okay. I'm that gonna be so cute. What? So cute for some super natural makeup. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Every few years or months or, you know, it just depends. I go through like a fashion identity crisis where I just don't know who I am or who I want to be or like what, I don't know, I don't know. Which I just went through one and I bought a bunch of clothes. Like these pants are like super fun, but they're like checkered. They're these, which I'm like, is that me? I don't know. I know that my happy place is very like just neutrals and like kind of boring. I just feel like I never know who I really am when I get dressed. Just, just sharing. Ricky, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Who are you? You know who you are. You, you know who you are. <laughs> oh, you love giving kisses when I have skincare on. Oh, big guy. Another thing I'm doing for my mental well-being is there are always going to be tasks that we just have to do. We might not want to do them, but we have to do them. I need to work on my computer for a few hours, but it's such a nice day out, so I put it on a swim top. I'm gonna go sit outside and work on my computer because it's so hot out, so nice. So we are going to make the most out of a task I don't really wanna do. I also got these cute new clips. I don't know if you can really see them, but I'll link them below if you want them. Okay, I'm gonna go work and actually edit this video. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Go to betterhelp.com slash Scott or click the link in my description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye.